Good afternoon. My name is Rose Sheehan. I'm with Home Partners Title, and I'm a, an attorney. I've been in the industry for 30 years. So today we're going to talk very briefly about the Foreign Investment and Real Property Tax Act and how it affects buyers and sellers. A lot of people don't know that this affects our transactions. So with that, a couple of bullet points for you today. The, what is the FERPTA Act? It is something that the U.S. government enacted in the 1980s because the sellers were selling their real estate here and they were leaving and not paying taxes. Now, all of a sudden, we have an act that comes into play where the buyers are responsible to collect 15% of the sales price of the transaction. And when they do that, they have to remit it to the IRS. So that 15% is taken off of the seller side of the closing. So let's take a look at another slide. So who was affected by this? Well, if you are a US citizen or if you hold a green card, you are not affected by this. We do not have to collect the FERPTA. So even though if you are a single member of limited liability company, we still have to collect the 15%. So if you have a green card, it does not apply for you. But let's talk about, in this slide, all of it together, because there are some exceptions and some reduced withholding. So if you're a seller and you're subject to FERPTA, you're gonna pay 15% withholding at the closing using the Form 8288A. However, there's some exceptions and reduced withholdings if the price is under 300,000 and the buyer is comfortable signing a residency affidavit. In the case of 300,000 to a million, of yeah, to one million, then it would be 10% withholding, again, if the buyer's comfortable signing the residency affidavit. Over one million dollars, we do have to collect the full 15% and send it into the IRS. So again, the 15%, or if it's 10, it is not an actual tax, it's a withholding. The actual tax is determined by the IRS once they process the tax return and they see how much the cost basis for the property is. And again, it's only due on the gains of the property. So for this situation here, we wanna identify that the buyer is responsible under the IRS rules and in the Florida Realtors contract, they identify the buyer as well as the one who's responsible for collecting and determining how much is owed and in giving that directive to the closing agent and in that event the closing agent then sends it to the IRS. So that's it for today. It's a quick little recap. My name is Rose Sheehan and I work with Home Partners Title.